Hello friends, my name's Tony Underwood and this is the Play Guitar Now video series. Now, have you always wanted to learn to play guitar? Uh, maybe you tried on your own, did some YouTube videos or had a friend uh, help you out to get you started. Uh, you might have bought a book or some CDs or uh, they even have uh, apps for your iPad or uh, programs for your computer where you can uh, kind of uh, learn to play yourself. Uh, you might have even taken lessons or a class and gotten started, uh, but it just didn't quite work out for you. Well, I want you to know that there's still hope for you. Uh, everyone can learn to play the guitar if they're physically capable of holding the guitar uh, and physically capable of strumming, which is this, and putting your fingers on these frets. Uh, you can learn to play guitar. And I urge you that if you've always wanted to play guitar but wasn't able to really get to where you wanted to be, uh, this video lesson series is for you. Uh, and why should you pay your hard-earned money for this lesson series? Well, for one, it's a great value. Uh, it really will combine what might take you two years of one-on-one -on -one lessons to learn. Uh, the course is 12 modules. It should take you around 12 weeks. Now, some people might do it much faster. And in fact, if you've had some lessons before or taught yourself or have a, a basic understanding, you can go very quickly. Uh, but if it takes you, uh, you know, 16 weeks, half a year, even a year, uh, that's not a bad idea because where were you a year ago? Uh, just think if you'd started a year ago and it took you the longest it could take, uh, you would be playing guitar. Now, what do I mean by playing guitar? Well, think of the feeling of being uh, together on the holidays and pulling out your guitar and be able to play just a few tunes. I'm going to play a few tunes for you. Okay, and I'm going to just play a few tunes for you. The first Noel, the angel did say, was to certain poor shepherds in fields where they lay. Now that's just an easy strum along the chords, and you might want to do something a little different. Uh, uh. Silent night, oh. might want to strum a little bit more. Now you can use a pick, you can use your fingers. Uh, oh, come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye to
So those are some things that you can do. Uh, you can learn to pick out melodies and play intros and uh, play uh, solos in the middle and play some outros, as we call it, or something at the end of the song. Uh, but imagine the feeling of being at school, being in college, being around a group of friends, just being at a party uh, and taking a guitar. Now, you can take a regular size guitar like this. You can take a tiny guitar. They have little traveling guitars and uh, pull out some chord charts to have your device. You've got millions of chord charts at hand and you can play along and people can sing. Uh, and I have to tell you from experience, that's the greatest feeling there is. I remember one holiday, uh, a bunch of people were at the house and uh, my wife just sat down at the piano. She uh, used to play uh, regularly and she just started playing some Christmas tunes and I pulled out my guitar and we started playing, uh, singing. And before long, there were 20 or 30 people. All, everybody in the house had come to gather around and were just in awe of that. Uh, and just think that could be you. So what are you going to learn in this video series? You're going to learn what 99% of the professional people play, uh, mainly chords and some melodies and some solos and things. And uh, you're going to also learn the mysterious uh, uh, art of reading music. <laughs> you're going to be able to recognize notes, you know, on the little pages where you see all the five lines and all the little dots, uh, and it's just a big mystery. And even if you know it a little bit, uh, it can be very daunting. But I'm going to take you through that in a way that you're going to be able to start off slow, but be perfect. In other words, you can uh, figure out the note and how long to hold it and how to play it on the guitar, and then go to the second note. And soon that skill will get so fast that it will be just at sight you'll be able to recognize those. But we won't stop there. You're also going to learn to read what we call chord charts, which is just uh, where you play uh, the chords where I was playing a few minutes ago. Uh, this is a C chord. Uh, and then you might change to a G chord. You're going to learn all about that and how to play those and how to learn to play them well. Uh, you're also going to learn to read other forms of uh, music notation, lead sheets, and uh, we call them, they used to call them Nashville numbers. I don't know if they still use them much anymore, but they're also called Roman numeral playing. You're going to learn all that. So in other words, any type of music that you see, you will be able to uh, figure out what to play and play it. So you, you'll never worry about, oh, I never learned to read music. I just, you know, chords or I have to read music. I, I can't really play with a chord chart. You're going to learn to do all of that. You're also going to learn different styles of music. You're going to learn what we call scales, which is the do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, uh, and different scales. And that's going to lead you into playing solos and things like that. You can learn to play, uh, pick out solos, pick out melodies and things like that. Uh, you'll learn about what it is to do finger style picking, uh, classical guitar reading. Uh, you'll learn basically everything you need to go out and play guitar anywhere, even as a professional. Now, I'm not going to tell you that in the 12-week course you're going to learn everything, but you're going to learn the basics and you're going to know what, what do I want to concentrate on more. If you want to go out and become a professional guitarist, the basics are there. There are other uh, things that you can go and get that will facilitate that. But you're going to really learn the basics. And I have to tell you, uh, I uh, was a, uh, hired out as a professional. I, I played in houses of worship. Uh, I used to just go and busk, what they call it. You go and sit down and play. Uh, and I n rarely, rarely uh, did uh, the really extreme playing that you see. And I'm not saying you can't learn that from this course. You can learn that. But what I'm saying is that's just not the whole thing of uh, guitar playing or of any instrumental playing. The basics of it is, is having the basics down and being familiar and being confident reading music, knowing that even though you can't do that yet, you know how to get there. That if that's what you want to do, you can practice. Uh, so who is this course for? Uh, this is the production value. What you see is what you get. It's just me sitting in my office. 
Uh, I don't have any funny videos. I don't have any uh, enticing, uh, uh, you know, mysteries and things that you're supposed to solve. I'm not going to sit here with an electric guitar and just jam and riff and shred because that's not really who the course is for. Uh, it's for the people that want to learn how to play guitar, and, and you can put your skill up against any of these people, uh, but that's rarely used. I mean, that's a, a niche of music. Most of the music is chords. Now, a lot of people know chords, but they don't understand how to use them. Uh, and it's for people that are ranked beginners, never picked up an instrument. It's for people who have taken lessons. Uh, if you've taken lessons or if you've played to a point where you're just not happy, uh, this course is for you. Uh, now, what makes me the best teacher for you? Uh, I might not be. Who's the course not for? If you don't like this production value, don't do it. Uh, there are some things that you have to bring to the table. One is your attitude. Uh, you have to have a positive attitude uh, to do this. The second is you have to do the work. It's not a lot of work. You know, 10 to 15 minutes a day, four or five times a week. Uh, and you can be playing in 12 weeks, and, and probably sooner than that, for many of you, will be able to play some basic chords, uh, but the full course. Uh, now, like I say, it might take you a little longer, but what were you doing a year ago, two years ago? Uh, stick with it. If you will do the work, and uh, I'm going to have Zoom calls and Facebook Lives, and I'm going to answer your questions and your emails. Depending on the volume at certain times, I might not be able to answer emails individually, but I will read them all and make new videos for you. Uh, we can do some workshops, uh, live workshops. And uh, all I ask is that if you uh, don't think you're getting your money's worth is to video your practice. And if you'll video your practicing at least an hour per module, and if you're practicing right and you're not getting anywhere, then I'm going to give you some extra videos. I'm going to give you some extra time. I'll even do one-on-ones with you uh, to make sure that you can get this. So uh, a lot of people get started and they're told what to do, but they're not told how to do it. And that's what this video series is about because you have to learn how to learn. And uh, the other thing I've seen, I own a music school, and I have for the past 10 years, and I've been teaching for the last 30 years, uh, and I was a, a worship leader at a, a very large church. I was a choir director, music and arts director. I have uh, went out there and gotten out and, and did my own performances. I write and compose my own music. You can go to TonyUnderwoodMusic.com and find out a little bit more about that. Uh, but what I've seen with the students is I usually can tell within the first couple of weeks if they're going to succeed. And that's because they bring a good attitude. They bring an attitude of, of wonder, of enthusiasm, of excitement, and of acceptance. If uh, I'm told to do this, I'm going to do it. Now, here are the problems where I see. Uh, one is, like I said, they're told what to do, but not how to do it. You know, uh, uh, how do you get to moon? Well, build you a spaceship and get you some astronauts. Well, that's what you should do, but doesn't tell you how to do it. So my video series is is very much me doing the things with you, uh, going over the notation, talking about it. I I talk about it different times in different series. We come back to it because I believe in what's called the spiral method of learning. So you start here and you go around in a circle and you learn something here, and then you go on and learn other things, and then you come back and you talk about it again, and so forth, on and on, until you've really gotten it under your fingertips. Uh, now, everybody talks about practice, but nobody tells you how to practice. Uh, most, 99.9% .9 of the people practice the wrong way. They're told the wrong way. The uh, instructor shows them the wrong way. Uh, the funny thing is, if the instructor has some talent, they didn't learn that way. And I know this because I've studied instructors, I've studied students, and I've also been able, through the wonder of YouTube, to watch some of the greatest musicians. Uh, some of them will uh, tell you how to learn a piece. They'll actually learn a piece and tell you. Uh, but what they're telling you isn't what they're doing. If you go back and look, you see something very different. And that's what I teach. Uh, the uh, kind of unknown, unknown. The, the way to learn how to learn to play. Uh, now, some of the things I'll tell you, others have told you. Some of the things I've tell you, they won't have told you. 
Some of the things I'm going to tell you, you'll have gotten in and done, but you nobody was there to see you through it. You have to go all the way through. You can't do it a little bit and then say, oh, I'm done with that. Uh, because uh, it would be like learning to play tennis and you hit one good shot and you say, okay, I'm, that's it, I'm over. Uh, so this is a lot of work. It's a lot of hard work, but it's not hard to do. You can break it up into tiny little chunks, a couple minutes a day. And I submit to you that the people that will succeed will sit down and say, I'm just going to do five minutes. And an hour later, uh, their fingers hurt and they stop. Or 30 minutes later, they're like, wow, I spent more time here than I had planned. But we'll teach you all this. So what does the course entail? You must have a guitar. I show you how to get one. I also have an affiliate link. Now, you don't have to buy it through that affiliate link. If you do, I make a little bit of money off of it, but you're more than welcome to buy it anywhere else. A lot of times people have guitars floating around, but I want to uh, share with you that a, a good guitar player can play a guitar and hand it to an amateur, and that amateur just can't do it. It's just too much for them. So make sure it's a basic guitar. I go over the kind of guitars to get and where to get them. I'm also going to tell you how to set yourself up for success. And that means uh, a place to practice how to, what equipment you need, where to get that equipment, and how to set that equipment up. Uh, I'm going to go over each individual string on the guitar. Uh, I'm going to go over each individual song and play it for you. Uh, we're going to do those together. You can go back to my video and play it over and over again. Uh, I've got a, other videos that are a little lengthy, but they talk about all this stuff. So you can listen to that a couple times and then go right to the actual practice videos. You'll also have the music. So after a while, you won't have to look at my practice videos. Uh, I teach you the basic techniques you need to do it the way I tell you to do it. Later, you can do differently. I'll give you a tip. The correct way to play with your left hand is to take your thumb and put it right behind on the, like this, on the neck, so that you're playing like this. And then the tips of your fingers are gonna hit those uh, strings. Now, that's how you have to play at the beginning. However, you've seen people playing with their thumb hooked and maybe here and maybe their fingers like this. That's fine after you've learned to play it the other way. So uh, do things the way I present them. And then later, it's so much easier to modify that or develop your own style and so forth. Uh, I, I teach you uh, how to set your practice sessions up and how to make them joyful because let me tell you, music is the most joyful thing I think you can do. Uh, and it doesn't matter how old you are. If you're in your 80s or 90s, come and, and learn to play guitar. Uh, it, it's not any harder for you than anyone else. And you might say, well, you know, I'm 95. How much longer am I going to live? Well, if you could have the joy of playing music for one year or one month, I think you would give up a lot in your life for that because it is something that's almost hard to explain how joyful it is, how much joy it brings others. And I practice and uh, tell people to really accept where they are and enjoy that because when people see you enjoying it, they can connect with that music. You've also always heard the term sell the song. Uh, I believe that's true, but I would rather you sell it by uh, going internally and enjoying the song and getting into the song, engaging with the song. And that just creates this huge atmosphere that reaches out and grabs all the other people out there. They see you enjoying it, they get into it, and they enjoy it, and the song is sold. Uh, and that's what you'll learn here. You really will learn how to do everything you need to know in order to play guitar. Now, uh, will you learn to play guitar as good as anyone else? I don't know. Uh, you'll be as good as most. You'll be better than most. Uh, you'll be as good as a few. And you might continue on. You might easily surpass my abilities and your every other instructors and some of the professionals. That's up to you. Uh, the basics are here. You can uh, see what part of it you like the best after you've tried everything and then go for that. Because you see, uh, life isn't a straight line. We might say we want to play uh, classical music and then later find pop music and then later, maybe later turn to jazz and do finger style. You might want an electric guitar like you see behind me here. It's a Gibson electric. This is a uh, uh, electric acoustic here, this red one. Over here is a classical guitar with the nylon strings. And this is just your standard steel string guitar. 
Uh, you might at some point want to learn to play piano. I'm going to have a course for that. It doesn't mean you've wasted anything. Uh, just the practice, it's the journey that's important to you. So how do you sign up for this? Well, follow the link. Go to Thinkific. Uh, Thinkific is the platform I use. You'll need a device. Uh, pay the money, and we're going to start uh, on Christmas Day. We're going to open up the course. Now, I'm going to set up a few Zoom calls and some Facebook Lives before that. If anybody wants to join in and have questions, uh, you can email me that. I'll put all that information below. And I know this has been a lengthy uh, introduction. Uh, you'll probably find some uh, real short clips that I'm putting out for ads. But uh, you might find this whole thing's lengthy because I can really get wordy. But uh, it's not that much. If you listen, you could do the whole course in one day. You could listen to everything. Uh, now, you, I don't think you could get much out of it. But uh, I uh, do... Uh, encourage you to listen to the videos more than once uh, and uh, play along with me on the videos that I'm playing and do those things that I tell you to do because uh, this is a wonderful thing. That's the greatest thing I've seen so many people uh, take and learn guitar and it just changes their lives forever. Now, the other thing I'm going to discuss is pain points. A lot of people uh, get to a point then it just it stops them and they, they go away. <laughs> and uh, I, I hate to see that because they're right there. So over the years, there's just been many pain points that I've seen and I'm trying to introduce those and let you know about it. And don't let that be the reason that you quit. Quit for other reasons. If your schedule simply doesn't allow it, if you have to move out of country, if you have personal issues, uh, you know, I understand that. That's what happens in life. Uh, but I will submit to you that no matter where you are, if you look on your phone at battery usage, if you can find three hours during a whole week that you've been on surfing the web or uh, talking on the phone or texting, I submit that you can turn that into practice. And within, you know, the 12 week time, you'll have really learned how to play guitar. So we all have that ability. But we do have pain points. Uh, I'll go over one and it's it, your finger pain when you're pressing the frets. Because these frets, it would be just like putting a nail down on the table and pressing onto it with your fingertips. These are uh, steel strings. So I'll give you a couple tips. When you do press a fret, the fret is this part in between these iron bars. These metal bars are actually the fret, but we call it this fret one, fret two. And you would press it down to where it would touch this next metal bar and make the string shorter. So let me uh, show you. Now, as you can see, I'll see if you can see my finger, the little line in it. Yeah. So you'll develop uh, thicker tissue there. But some of the things I tell people is, one, when your fingers start hurting, stop practicing and try later in the day or the next day. Secondly, get as close as you can to that bar without touching it and see how the lightest is that you can fret. So let's try that. Nothing. My hand, finger's just dampening the string. I'm going to press down. There it is. That's a much lighter touch than if I just went like that. You can see I've really gotten a, a quite a line there. Uh, where if uh, I'm going to use another finger, if I, that's really all it took on that finger. Uh, much little lesser line. You might not be able to see it, but it's a much less uh, line. The other thing you can do is take a band aid and take the adhesive part, this plastic part without the pad, and just put it on your fingertip. Now that's not the best case, but it, you wait until the fingers hurt, then you put that on and it will help you. If it gets worse, the next day if the fingers aren't getting better, put the pad part of the band-aid on there. You can also get little rubber fingertips at a, uh, you can order them on Amazon, uh, they use them to count money uh, and they will cover your finger to help you. And then there's some other things. So you do that until your fingertips toughen up. But the key is to play with a bare finger at first. And then when it starts to hurt, then you start with the least one. If it still hurts, go to the pad and then try some other options. And there are other options that you can try as well. Now, the reason that stops people from playing, it's a subconscious thing because we have so many nerve endings in our fingertips that our body just revolts. It's just as if if you've eaten a meal with a very like a big meal of fried chicken or some uh, 
uh, Thai food or something with a very distinct taste and you get sick. Now that food might not have made you sick, but your body, the next time you smell or see that will revolt. You're not going to want to eat that. It's the same way your fingertips, once you start playing because of the pain you've had in the past, your body will try to keep you from doing that. But I urge you to just push through it, uh, do those things to keep it from hurting. And within a few weeks, that'll be gone. You won't even be thinking about it. So that's my little intro. I hope I've covered everything. I'm going to have some other videos uh, a little bit shorter, maybe a little bit longer, going over some of the same stuff. But I want to make sure you have a good understanding of what we do, because I don't want to sell you on something that's not going to work. If you're willing to put in the time, if you have enthusiasm, uh, and, uh, you know, the price point is a great uh, price. It's a super value for you. But it's not so little that, you know, I want committed people because I want the people that are ready. And if you're not committed, I understand, uh, but I want you to be committed. And committed, most people say they know what committed means, but they have no idea. Committed means giving up something to do something else, to do something in place of something else. So in place of the other things in your life you have to do, you actually cut them out uh, and you uh, give up money so you can do this. Uh, you know, this is a, easily a twelve to $2,400 value. And... Like I said, uh, I'm not saying I'm better than any of the other courses out there. I'm not saying I'm a better instructor. What I'm telling you is that uh, I know what works with people. And when people get in and, and get going, uh, they need somebody there to help them. And I will be there. Now, I'm not going to give you a one-on-one -on -one lesson every week. But I will be available if you'll send in your problems. I can do a short video and post it. And everybody can look at that and we can kind of move from there. And you can actually send me a video, uh, a short 20 second video of what's happening. Uh, you know, you might say, well, Tony, anytime I do this uh, 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 chord, I hear, hear that. What's that noise, Tony? That's that noise. Well, that noise is you're not quite pushing down enough on this string. And if you isolate that and move it up. And now as opposed to, or I can't reach that chord. That's a G chord, Tony. I'll say, okay, well, let's try it this way then. Different fingers. So those are some uh, common things that will just befuddle you and you won't be able to continue. But the cool thing is you'll actually see me doing it. I try to give you a good view of my hands when I'm uh, doing the lessons and playing the songs. And I try to get you set up really well. And once you start doing something that's different, it's uncomfortable. But if you do it the same way consistently with consistency uh, over and over again, eventually that will be your base. You will feel more natural at that position. That's why people say, well, this is unnatural. I can't do it. Well, no, you do it until it feels natural. Uh, that's why other people succeed. So this is Tony Underwood with the Play Guitar Now video series. If you've always wanted to play guitar, if you've always wanted that feeling of accomplishment, and just dream of pulling out your guitar and playing some music and sing-alongs and being able to take a guitar into a room and just uh, practice and play for hours uh, all the popular songs out there. Now, I don't do popular songs because it's uh, uh, against copyright. There are also educational things I'll do, but so most of the things you see are either in the public domain uh, or there are things I've written, uh, but it's just to get you an idea of what we do here. So go to the link below, go to TonyUnderwoodMusic.com. Uh, you can go to TheUnderwoodSchool.com. Uh, go to Thinkific and look for Play Guitar Now. And I've got the links below. Share these links. Uh, put this on social media and share it uh, because I'd love to get as many people as we could uh, doing this. And we go live on Christmas Day. So you've got time to, uh, I'm going to post a video on how to choose a guitar and how to the, choose the equipment you need. It's in the lesson series, but I'm going to post another one. And that way you'll be able to right now go out and, and get ready, get your guitar ready, find a guitar uh, and all that. So I'll post those videos down below as well. So I want to thank you for giving me this uh, 30 minutes or so of your life. And uh, if you really are committed and really enthused about playing guitar, and, uh, you know, think it's a great value and you want to really do it, I urge you to do it. And if you don't, 
let's put it aside and do something else and come back later when you're ready. Uh, and I'm always open to questions from anybody. Uh, you can also find my podcast. It's called uh, the Tony Underwood Music Podcast. And I do talk about uh, learning and, and, and music education in that podcast as well. So thank you so much. I hope you have a great holiday. I hope you have a great year next year. And I hope by this time next year, you're showing up at my Zoom meeting, showing me how well you're playing these guitars or posting your own music on YouTube or posting Facebook lives of you playing with some of your friends uh, and giving them the joy of music as well. Peace.